Hi, in this video, we'd like to continue on the topic of the congenital uterine malformation, and today we'd like to discuss uniconvoid uterus. So, uniconvoid uterus presents itself with a single uterine horn. Now, there also uh, might be a presence of a non communicating uh, uterine horn as well. This may or may not be present, but with a half formed uterus. This type of uterine malformation suffers from insufficient volume which is uh, very which it makes it very difficult for you to sustain the pregnancy towards the second or third trimester if it does happen it may lead to a pressure induced late miscarriage now diagnosis for this type of condition is very easily done and also this condition is easily treatable so if you do have this condition or if you know anybody who has this condition uh, rest assured this condition can be overcome so diagnosis involves using diagnostic hysteroscopy, HSG, which is just an X-ray image of the uterus, and also 4D color Doppler ultrasound. All these three diagnostic tools will help us get a better picture of what exactly is your shape, what is it actually lacking, and once the problem is properly identified, we can then proceed to surgery. Now this type of uniconvoid uterus can go both ways one of the two ways so either we can introduce a uterine expansion if there is no presence of a non-communicating uterine horn so uterine expansion will expand this uh, uniconvoid uterus into a normal and healthy shape healthy shape uh, and size of a healthy uterus now the next option is that we can do a uterine uh, unification surgery if there is a presence of a non-communicating uterine horn. Now the uniconvoid and the non-communicating will be combined together to get a single uterus and it can be restored back to a healthy shape and size as well. So uh, after these surgeries, one of the two, a patient will be administered with a pear-shaped stent. Now this pear-shaped stent is an intrauterine stent that will help the patient to maintain its uterus shape and also helps healing uh, and also the recovery process. Uh, once uh, patient is healed approximately three to six months, then patient is recommended to begin conceiving. And once you do get pregnant, you can sustain a full-term healthy pregnancy. Uh, to find out more information about uh, these uterine malformations and its treatment, please visit our website. If you have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments below for me.